USDA recently revised the CACFP meal patterns to ensure children and adults have access to healthy, balanced meals throughout the day. And in this short film, we are going to go over meal requirements for infants to make sure the little ones in our care get the nutrition they need. Now, a few things before we jump into the infant meal pattern. Before we can serve meals to infants, we need to get parents and caregivers to fill out the formula food sign-off statement. On the formula food sign-off statement, insert the name of the iron fortified infant formula you'll be providing to infants in your care. Parents and caregivers can express how they'd like their infant to be fed. They can check up to two of these feeding options, including bringing in their own iron fortified formula, expressed breast milk, or coming into the center to breastfeed their infant. There is also the option for the child to partake in the solid food provided by the center, or for parents and caregivers to bring in their own solid foods, as children are developmentally ready for it, of course. With this information, we can make sure we are feeding the baby just as the parents or guardians want. Yay! And a few updates before we jump into the new meal pattern for infants. One, we encourage and support breastfeeding. Providers may receive reimbursement for meals when a breastfeeding mother comes to the daycare center or home and directly breastfeeds her infant in replacement of infant formula or expressed breast milk. Two, only breast milk and infant formula are required to be served to infants zero through five months old. Around six months old, solid foods are gradually introduced as developmentally appropriate. Three, we no longer allow juice or cheese food or cheese spread to be served to infants. Now, let's take a look at the meal pattern for infants. We will divide infants into two categories, zero through five months and six through 11 months. Infants zero through five months are easy. For breakfast, lunch, supper, and snack, they require the same component, four to six fluid ounces of breast milk or formula. The meal pattern for infants six through 11 months is the same for breakfast, lunch, and supper, and a little different for snack. Let's take a look at what they need for breakfast, lunch, and supper meals. For breakfast, lunch, and supper, infants six to 11 months require six to eight fluid ounces of breast milk or formula, and when they're developmentally ready for foods, up to four tablespoons of infant cereal, meat, fish, poultry, whole eggs, cooked dry beans, or peas. Or up to two ounces of cheese, four ounces of cottage cheese, four ounces of yogurt, or four ounces of a combination of cottage cheese and yogurt. And the third component is up to two tablespoons of vegetable, fruit, or both. The second component may sound a bit complicated, but it's not. No need to be overwhelmed. These are each choices you can make. And finally, a snack for infants between six and 11 months requires two to four fluid ounces of breast milk or formula, and when they're developmentally ready for foods, up to half a bread slice or up to two crackers, or up to four tablespoons of infant cereal or ready to eat cereal, along with up to two tablespoons of vegetables, fruit, or both. The infant menu record is used to record foods actually served to infants under one year old. Institutions may use a separate menu record form for each infant or one for each group of similar age infants. There's a version of the form for infants zero to five months and a version for infants from six to 11 months. Conveniently, they have the required components from their respective meal patterns in the left-hand column as a reminder of what is required for each infant's well-balanced meal. Up at the top, record basic information such as site and room, month, year, the infant's full name or names, and their date of birth. Now we can record what foods were offered. For each column, we put the date on the top and then record the foods offered to the infant on that date below. Voila! Use BF to indicate that the infant was breastfed on site. Record the foods and beverages during or as soon as possible after the meal is served. List the specific foods served. Do not use generic food terms such as infant cereal or fruit. 
Instead, opt for specific descriptors like infant barley or strawberries. You don't have to identify the amount. And don't forget, an infant menu record form must be kept for each child under 12 months of age. Thank you for taking care of the infants in our communities. By following these meal patterns for infants, we are ensuring our meals are reimbursable and that the babies in our care get the nutrition they need. If you have questions, you can visit the CACFP website, michigan.gov CACFP, or contact the program office at 517-241-5353.